Tottenham and England legend Teddy Sheringham offers advice to Harry Kane on making a switch from Spurs to Manchester United. Pierre-Emil Hoiberg could be on his way to Tottenham Hotspur Football Club this summer with Carl Walker-Peters going the other way. Roma are ready to offer Jan Vertonghen a two-year deal. Arsenal and Tottenham will battle it out for Chelsea's Willian this summer. And could Harry Redknapp go to manage the Nigerian national team at the age of 73? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Tuesday the 26th of May. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and reports from the last 24 hours. A report out today from the Daily Express and the heading reads Tottenham to explore swap deal options for Jose Mourinho's top transfer target. Tottenham are now considering a swap deal to land one of Jose Mourinho's top summer transfer targets. The article goes on to say Tottenham are considering a swap deal with Southampton Football Club so boss Jose Mourinho can secure one of his top summer transfer targets, Pierre-Emil Hoiberg. And the potential deal could see Spurs offering Carl Walker-Peters in exchange for the Southampton star. Southampton are in a difficult position regarding Pierre-Emil Hoiberg as his contract expires next year in 2021. And the 24-year-old is yet to agree a new deal despite the club's attempts to secure his long-term future at St Mary's. Southampton signed Hoiberg from Bayern Munich for a reported fee of £12.8 million back in 2016. Since then, he has gone on to make 129 appearances for the club in all competitions and has also chipped in with five goals and six assists. Tottenham and England legend Teddy Sheringham was on Sky Sports earlier today talking all about Harry Kane. Said that Harry Kane was currently at a crossroads at Tottenham and he should leave Spurs if he doesn't win a trophy next season. Teddy Sheringham was talking firstly about his own career, leaving Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, going to Manchester United and then coming back to Spurs, having won lots of trophies. Now, he told Sky Sports earlier, the ambition had been sucked out of the club when I was playing for Tottenham. We weren't really going places. At least with Tottenham at the moment, they're getting into the top four. They're challenging for things in the Champions League final not so long ago. Sheringham then went on to talk about Harry Kane and said he's got to weigh up his situation. Does he want to leave? Is there going to be top players coming to Tottenham to play with him? Or is he going to have to go elsewhere to play with top players? Sheringham then went on to say, at the moment, I would say Harry Kane's career is at Tottenham. I know they haven't won anything, but the career has been steadily going forward. But I think it may be at a crossroads. And if not this year, and they haven't won anything, or don't look to be going forwards in the next season, I think there could be changes because Harry's only got one career and he wants to win things. Sheringham then went on to say, my advice would be, you only get one career, Harry. Make sure you make the most of it. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below on Teddy Sheringham's comments on Harry Kane. Do you see Harry Kane leaving at the end of the 2020-2021 season if Jose Mourinho doesn't deliver Tottenham a trophy? So there has been lots of rumours and reports in the last couple of weeks all about Tottenham defender Jan Vertonghen, who is now 33. He is out of contract at Tottenham on the 30th of June 2020, which isn't long away now. Um, the Daily Express have uh, released a, a report today stating that AS Roma, the Italian side, are now in for Jan Vertonghen and they are ready to offer a two-year deal. Lots of media reports were released yesterday suggesting that the Premier League could be back on either the 12th, the 19th or the 26th of June. The players are back training at Hotspur Way, training very hard. These pictures were taken by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club and released earlier today.
As we've seen in all of the photographs over the last couple of days, all of the players are back at Hotspur Way training ahead of the nine remaining Premier League games for the 2019-20 season. Oliver Skip spoke to the Tottenham Hotspur website earlier today at his delight in being back in training. He said it was great to be back. It certainly makes you realise how much you've missed it uh, when you get back out there. Skip then went on to say it's great to have that communication with the players again and the staff and seeing those familiar faces that I've known for so many years that has brought back some normality in difficult times. It's nice just to get out of the house. It has made me realise how lucky we all are and shows however much we all love football and what we do. Something like the coronavirus puts it all into perspective. So there has been lots of reports out in the media in the last couple of days about Tottenham signing Philip Coutinho. Even Paul Robinson, our former goalkeeper, said that he would be confident in Tottenham actually getting this deal done. Well, Football Insider have said that Tottenham would prefer to sign Philip Coutinho on a loan move rather than actually purchasing him from Barcelona because, of course, he would cost big money. But now Tottenham are reluctant in actually paying all of uh, Coutinho's wages. So if they could agree a deal with Barcelona to just pay part wages, then I'm sure this deal could be done. A report out today from The Athletic and they have stated that Musa Sissoko, Hun Min Son and Harry Kane have now returned and are at full fitness. So if Tottenham do play the remaining nine games in the Premier League, these three key players are back for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club at full fitness. What fantastic news. They have also added that Steven Bergwijn is making good progress in his recovery from his ankle injury. In the last couple of months, there have been so many media reports linking Tottenham Hotspur Football Club to Chelsea star Willian. Uh, there has been another report released today, this time from the Daily Telegraph, and they are stating that Tottenham are ready to battle Arsenal for Willian's signature this summer because he is available on a free transfer. A report out today from ESPN and the Daily Mail and they are both suggesting that Harry Redknapp has been lined up for a shock return to management with the national side Nigeria. It has been three years since the former Tottenham boss was last in the dugout after leaving Birmingham City in 2017. At 73 years old, he could be set for his second spell into international management with the country's national ministry hoping to install him in charge of the Super Eagles. Happy many returns to former Tottenham player Don McAllister, who celebrates his 67th birthday today. He played for Tottenham between 1975 and 1981. Spurs bought him from Bolton Wanderers. He went on to make 172 league appearances for Spurs, scoring nine goals, also making 17 appearances in the FA Cup for Tottenham and 13 in the League Cup, scoring one goal. Former Tottenham midfielder Steve Sedgley also celebrates his birthday today. He turns 52, so many happy returns, Steve. He played for Tottenham between 1989 and 1994. He won the FA Cup with Tottenham back in 1991, wearing the number four shirt. Um, he made a total of 164 league appearances for Spurs, scoring on nine occasions. He made a total of 13 FA Cup appearances for Spurs, scoring once. Made uh, 27 appearances in the League Cup for Tottenham, scoring once. And also made seven European appearances for Spurs as well. There has been lots of media reports out in the last couple of weeks speculating about Maurizio Pochettino 
Going to Newcastle, being Newcastle's next manager for the 2020-2021 season. Well, there has been reports out in the media today suggesting that if Pochettino does go to Newcastle next season, his first signing, he wants Harry Kane. Now, my question is, and please do put all of your thoughts in the comments section below, if Pochettino manages in the Premier League next season, which Tottenham players do you think that he will be after for his new team? Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comments section below on everything that I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel yet, please do hit that subscribe button. We are now just over 35,500 subscribers. So thank you to every single one of you who has watched this channel from day one and watches this channel on a regular basis. Stay safe and well. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Tottenham news. Come on, you Spurs. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like the shirt I have been wearing in today's video, you can order one of these shirts and many, many more from toffs.com. You can also get in touch with them by email. It is inquiries at toffs.com. All of the links are um, in the description box below this video. Um, they have an absolutely superb range of retro Tottenham shirts, so don't miss out.